Alright, what is up guys? So today I'm going to be going over this star photo from Alabama Hills, uh, completely from start to finish. Uh, it's going to be Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, and Photoshop. I did post this photo recently actually, and a lot of people were kind of confused. They've never seen a photo like it. Um, a lot of people asked me how I edited it, so I figured why not make a start to finish tutorial. So this is the raw image, and this is what I posted. So I'm essentially gonna try to get the same end result, but this was about two passes in Lightroom and a lot in Photoshop. So I can't really, you can never really recreate the same edit, but just based on your editing styles, it's pretty easy to recreate what you're looking for. So I'm probably gonna just try to recreate relatively close to that exact image. Um, this is taken on an 85 millimeter prime with F1.8. ISO 4000 and a six second exposure. So the reason it's only a six second exposure is because the more zoomed in of a lens that you're using, the less time you can have your shutter open for stars because stars are always moving. So on a 16 millimeter lens, 30 seconds even is sometimes too much if the stars are moving fast. Um, you normally have to do 20 or 25 seconds and on 35 millimeters, it's maybe 10 to 13 seconds um, and so on and so forth. So 85 millimeters, I found that my stars didn't really have any streaks and were pretty solid at about this point, at about six seconds. Um, so I'm gonna start with the basic Lightroom edit, as always. Um, some vibrance and dehaze. It's probably good for that. Um, bring up the whites more. It's pretty much as much as I can. And then I'm going to bring in two graduated filters just from the outsides and try to keep them pretty straight. Just dropping the exposure essentially. Probably negative uh, 0.4 to each side. Yeah, I think that helps intensify kind of the core of the Milky Way. And as far as saturation, I really want the colors to pop in this. So I'm pretty much gonna crank most colors. Um, and I'm gonna bump the luminance of the yellows. So I really want those to be thick. Maybe some magenta. And I'm gonna also see with messing with the white balance how I feel about that. Mm. I do like that. I'm going to drop the exposure two stops and actually bring up one stop of magenta. Yeah, I think maybe in between those, like eight, look pretty solid. Bring up some more dehaze. Um, I think the hue of everything is pretty, pretty solid. I don't think I need to mess with that at all. Um, as far as Lightroom goes for this photo, I kept it pretty simple. That's before, and that is after. Um, so that's pretty solid as far as Lightroom goes. I'll pull this into Photoshop. All right, so now that this is in Photoshop, I'm gonna do a lot of layers of camera raw with layer mask and just blending, because I really wanna focus on selective color. And like down here, there's some greens, some yellows here, some blues and magentas in here, some purples, some dark, um, a dark blue, maybe almost black. Um, I really want to kind of intensify all of it um, to really just make it pop that extra extra notch. So I make a copy of my background layer. Probably I'll start with some blues for the center. I'm going to throw a layer mask on that. Command I to invert it. Now that we have a black layer mask, I'm going to be painting white brush at 100% opacity. And I'm just going to do this in kind of the core where I want some more, you know, blues. But I'm going to try to stay away from the areas that have a lot of purple or magenta. So I'm going to do those soon. I think that helps for sure. I'm also going to do a dodge burn layer, so that's 
option click new layer and it brings up the advanced settings and go to soft light fill with neutral color um, if you're curious why I'm doing it this way this is how I do my dodging and burning and I have a, an entire tutorial on dodging and burning so if you ch want to check out my complete workflow series and playlist um, I go more into depth on it in there and for this I'm going to get my color picker tool pick one of these deep kind of yellows and bring up pretty bright because I'm going to be going at a low opacity maybe like 18% I'm just gonna brush in these yellow areas I'm actually gonna bring it over more because I want more saturation so this is essentially like painting with light almost I'm gonna actually redo that it's a smaller brush so I can really get in and out of these spots Drop that opacity. It definitely helps though. Um, make a merge visible layer. Command Option Shift E. It's a culmination of all of my edits below that layer. See where we're at before and after. Um, similarly, going to do one more dodge burn layer for the greens at the bottom. Let's just find. Try to find a nice green area probably around there probably even lighter opacity for this too maybe like 14 just kind of lightly all in the bottom where there's already hints of green bring this in then at like 8% opacity just blend this up a little bit more Boom, make another merge visible layer. And now for this, I'm gonna bring camera raw filter. Now I'm gonna go for some magentas. Click okay, same thing, I'm gonna layer mask and invert it. Then I'm just gonna put this uh, 16 where I already see some purples it's too like maybe 20 See how it looks with just the purple. Awesome. Merge visible layer. And on here, I'm going to do camera roll filter. And this one, I'm just going to adjust the whites and the general vibrance. I'm probably going to crank that pretty high. Whites as well. Maybe drop the contrast though so it's not too crunchy. Also drop the exposure. I'll see before and after that. All right, definitely digging that. Do one more with graduated filter, but first need to set all these to zero. just gonna drop this very little because I already did this in Lightroom boom click OK see the before and after that that's one of those steps that really kind of brings it closer to the end result so this is where we started right out of camera this is just after a quick Lightroom edit and this is where we currently are this is before Photoshop here we are. I'm going to do one more merge visible. I'm going to do layer for clarity and only hit it where I want it. I'm going 
to layer mask that and invert it. And then really just where I want things to be extra enhanced, hit it with the white brush. Boom. But in doing that, definitely lost some clarity in the really important parts. Let's make a copy of that layer. And then I'm gonna bring up a vibrance tab and just kind of mess with this, get it to a point we'd like. I personally like relatively saturated. Also, I just kind of like portraying more dramatic scenarios of stuff that we already see and capture. And I think it, it really is something to pull out as much as we are on this image like this. Pretty stoked on that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be actually doing a few more tutorials specifically on star photos, how to, processing them, blending exposures, and just some kind of little tricks and editing that I found out along the way. Um, but till then, that's it for this one. So see you on the next one. Thank you.